Automatic Identification System, ACE. Automatic Identification System, ACE, is an automated tracking system that displays other vessels in the vicinity. It is a broadcast transponder system which operates in the VHF Mobile Maritime Band. Your own ship also shows on the screens of other vessels in the vicinity, provided your vessel is fitted with ACE. If ACE is not fitted or not switched on, there is no exchange of information on ships by ACE. The ACE on board must be switched on at all times unless the master deems that it must be turned off for security reasons or anything else. The working mode of ACE is continuous and autonomous. What is AIS? AIS is automatic tracking that is on ship and by vessel tracking services or BDS. It is identified on a big vessel in the area. So as you can see, this is the AIS. And click on the power to open this screen. Ito po yung power. And then, ito po yung makikita natin pag comment po natin ang AIS. And then, makikita din makikita din po natin yung mga keyboard na magagamit po natin dito sa to operate po. Meron po tayo yung display enter and the end message na nagtapos. Yung mga keyboard din po natin na up and down and sa by side po natin na right and left. And then, then uh, click po natin yung menu and tapos. Ito na po yung makikita natin. Message, send po yung tapos. Internal GPS po natin na Kiklik po natin gamit ng ating key button. Yung message po natin and then enter po natin. Pag-enter po natin, uh, lalabas po sa message ang PA message at yung tinatawag natin RX log. Click po natin yung PA message and then enter po ulit natin. Pag-enter po, ito po yung lalabas PA message. Set message type and send message. Kasi, uh, Gagawa pa lang po naman tayo. Pupunta po tayo sa set message type kung paano po tayo makakapag message po. Enter po natin. And then ito po yung lalabas sa set message. And then makikita po natin dito yung address type. MMSI na si type channel na reply time. Ayan po yung makikita natin. And then MSSI yung mga number po. Ma yan po mga yan, mapapadan din po natin yan. Gamit itong key button po natin para mapadan po. Example po itong number. Pwede po natin palitan yung number na yan gamit ang key button po natin. Enter lang po natin. Pag-enter po natin, lalabas po ang yung set message type at send message. Take po ulit natin yung set message and then enter po natin. Pag-enter po natin ang set message, Ah, uh, pag-enter okay, po natin ng set message ay lalabas na po yung send message. Nakasend po, ito po yung magagamit po. Kung sure po ba tayo na isesend po natin sa another ship po yung message natin. Yes, or no lang po. Kung sure naman po tayo. Click po natin yung yes. And then, enter po natin. Pag-enter po, isend message na masending. Hintay lang po natin. And then, Lalabas na po yung send message complete na kung saan po ay uh, naparating na po natin sa sa kapiling hindi po yung message natin. And then press and any key po natin. Uh, kapag na press press any key po, may i-skip na po yung lahat. And that's all po there. Thank you. Why is this provided? It is fitted on ships for identification of ships and navigational marks. However, it is only an aid to navigation and should not be used for collision avoidance. Vessel Traffic Services, VTS, assure you safe to identify, locate, and monitor vessels. The Panama Canal uses the ACE as well to provide information about rain along the canal as well as wind in the locks. So last requirements. The IMO Convention for the Safety of Life at Sea, SALAS, Regulation B-19.2.4 requires all vessels of 300 GT and above engaged on international voyages and all passenger ships irrespective of size to carry ACE on board. ACE Types Class A, 
men needed for all vessels 300 GT and above engaged on international voyages as well as all passenger ships. Class B, provides limited functionality and intended for non salas vessels. Primarily used for vessels such as pleasure crafts. ACE operates principally on two dedicated frequencies or BHF channels. ACE 1, works on 161.975 MHz channel 87B, simplex, for ship to ship. ACE 2, 162.025 MHz channel 88B, duplex for ship to shore. It uses self-organizing time division multiple access technology to meet the high broadcast rate. This frequency has a limitation of line of sight which is about 40 miles or so. How does ACE work exactly? How do we obtain all this data? Originally, ACE was used terrestrially, meaning the signal was sent from the boat to land, and had a range of roughly 20 miles, also taking into account the curvature of the Earth. As ships began sailing further and further away from land, they began sending the signal to low orbit satellites, which then relayed information back to land. This meant ships could sail as far as they like, and we always have peace of mind knowing exactly where they are, and how they're doing. The A system consists of one VHF transmitter, two VHF TDMA receivers, one VHF DSC receiver, and a standard marine electronic communications link to shipboard display and sensor systems. Position and timing information is normally derived from an integral or external GPS receiver. Other information broadcast by the ACE is electronically obtained from shipboard equipment through standard marine data connections. Although only one channel is necessary, each station transmits and receives over two radio channels to avoid interference and to avoid communication loss from ships. Position report from one ACE station fits into one of 2,250 time slots established every 60 seconds. These stations continuously synchronize themselves to each other, to avoid overlap of slot transmissions. Data transmitted. One static information, every six minutes and on request. MMSI number. IMO number. Name and call sign. Length and beam. Type of ship. Location of position fixing antenna. Data transmitted. Two dynamic information depends on speed and course alteration. Ship's position with accuracy indication. Position time stamp in UTC. Course over ground. Con. Data transmitted. Three voyage related information every six minutes when data is amended or on request. Ship's draft. Type of cargo, destination and EPA, route plan, waypoints. Data transmitted. Four short safety related messages. Pre format text message addressed to one or many destinations or to all stations in the area. This content could be such as buoy missing, iceberg sighting, etc. ACE has a surveillance tool. In coastal waters, shoreside authorities may establish automated ACE stations to monitor the movement of vessels through the area. ACE has an aid to collision avoidance. ACE contributes significantly to the safety of navigation. All the information that is transmitted and received enhances the effectiveness of navigation and can greatly improve the situational awareness and the decision-making process. Limitations of ACE As with all navigational and slash or electronic equipment, the ACE has limitations. One, the accuracy of ACE information received is only as good as the accuracy of the ACE information transmitted. Two position received on the ACE display might not be referenced to the WGS-84 datum. Three over-reliance on the ACE can cause complacency on the part of the OOW. Four users must be aware that erroneous information might be transmitted by the ACE from another ship. 
5. Not all ships are fitted with A's. 6. The OOW must be aware that A's, if fitted, might be switched off by a certain vessel thereby negating any information that might have been received from such a ship. 7. It would not be prudent for the OOW to assume that the information received from other ships might not be fully accurate and of precision that might be available on own vessel. To sum it up, the ACE only improves the safety of navigation by assisting the OOW slash BTS or whatever entity. It's pretty easy to install as well, as ACE is generally integrated with ship bridge systems for multifunctional display. But installing a standalone system is as straightforward as plugging in a couple of cables and switching on the plug. There's a lot more to ACE than meets the eye. We delve more into depth with the accompanying handbook both for beginners and for those more well-versed in the world of ACE.